Now it's time for final statements, closing statements. First to you, General Boldick. You have to ask yourself, Granite Staters, are you better off today than you were two years ago? Two years ago, you were not making choices between heating and eating. I was not holding moms and dads' hands who were in tears. I was not holding retirees' hands who didn't know how they were going to pay their next bills. People that could live comfortably paycheck to paycheck now can't live comfortably. This is a sad situation we are in, and it is due to the policies of Joe Biden with the 100% support of Maggie Hassan. I am a political outsider. I will go to Washington, D.C. to serve you. I will go to Washington, D.C. to represent you. I will not go to Washington, D.C. to represent special interest lobbyists and wealthy political elite. I will not do that. I will be your senator. I will be your senator and I will work for you and I will be accountable, responsible, transparent, and truthful. God bless you, God bless America, and live free or die. Senator Hassan, closing statement. Well, again, I want to thank you, Adam, and our panelists. I want to thank everybody who tuned in today, as well as MUR and the Institute on Politics for hosting. Uh, it has been the honor of a lifetime to serve as your governor and as your senator. Uh, I'm running for re-election because I want to continue the work of bringing people together and solving problems. There's more work to do to lower costs on everything from energy to housing to child care. Now, my opponent has a very different approach. Don Bolduc wants to impose an extreme agenda, whether it is eliminating Social Security or enacting a nationwide abortion ban. And his refusal to accept election results thinks, means he thinks he doesn't have to listen to you because he can just reject your votes. He believes he can support an agenda that will raise your costs and eviscerate your rights because he isn't accountable to you. I will always listen to you and work to deliver for New Hampshire and I respectfully ask for your vote.